Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 54 of our course and in this lecture we will learn how to enable serial port interrupts, right? So let's start our lecture. Okay, uh, in this lecture we will be understanding how to enable serial ports interrupts, right? So we know that uh, we have already covered two type of uh, serial ports communication one is transmission and other is reception so uh, like we have already seen these flags right uh, transmit if flag and receive if flag which were present in pir1 and pir2 register so this thing is something which we have already seen in serial port programming uh, respectively in transmission and reception right uh, but this is uh, something which we are going to discuss in today's lecture uh, so these flags bits are like uh, uh, flags which are present in timer zero or external interrupts. So uh, similarly, they have their individual enable bits as well. So those bits are transmit IE and trans receive IE, which are uh, basically acronym for transmit interrupt enable and receive interrupt enable, right? So these bits are present in uh, this register PIE1. Uh, so if we go through this specific chart, you can easily understand it because we have already seen two types of interrupt before this serial port interrupt, uh, external interrupt and timer zero interrupt. So you can see in this chart, it is present here. It transferred IF and transferred IE, both are present over here and trans receive IF and receive IE, they are present over here. So these uh, gates should be enabled, right? These gates should be ready uh, if transmit IEF or receive IEF provides interrupt to microcontroller. And uh, how you can actually make those enables one, you need to set transmit IE and receive IE bit. And how one can do it, let me write instruction for it. It's very easy. Uh, BSF uh, register name PIE one comma, then the flag bit, which is TXIE. So now what will happen TXIE bit will become equal to one. Similarly, you can also configure PSF PIE one comma receive IE, uh, which will make receive IE equals to one. So what is going to happen that these flags will become one, sorry, these in enables will become one and at this input, we will have one. So let's say if we are uh, transmitting uh, something, so transmit transmission of eight bits are actually uh, completed and we will have this notification using this bit, right? So this flag will become set whenever the transmission of eight bit is completed using, uh, and uh, we know that we, when we say transmission is complete, that means we are referring towards the transmission of uh, frame data. That, that means stop and start bit is also included. And similarly, if, re if reception IF uh, bit is uh, raised or it is equal to one that means it is referring towards the reception of start and stop bits is also complete right so whenever we have a we have a notification from these two bits what is going to happen these two flags will become equals to one i'm actually considering both cases simultaneously right so what is, what is going to happen? These interrupt will eventually flow to this specific gate because this is an OR gate, so it won't produce any trouble, but this is an AND gate and it requires another input to be high. So which is this one, P-E-I-E, -E, which means we have to make it also one if we want to receive notification from transmit and interrupt flag as well, right? So, and how you can make it one, uh, we have already discussed that this bit is present in interrupt control register. So you have to write one more instruction that is what uh, BSF, uh, okay, let me write these instructions separately. So BSF interrupt control comma PEIE -E, peripheral interrupt enable bit. And furthermore, if you see in the last, you also have to enable what global interrupt bit as well. So how you will do it? BSF interrupt control comma GIE, right? So in this way, what is going to happen? Uh, we would have enable PEIE bit as well and GIE bit as well. That means now whenever transmission will complete, transmission flag will high and we will receive this notification uh, to the microcontroller as interrupt. 
right? And if receive reception of eight bits completed, then we see receive IF bit will become high and we will receive a notification uh, as an interrupt to the microcontroller, right? So these are the four different bits you need to configure when you are uh, configuring serial ports interrupt. I hope this is quite clear, right? And we're gonna see example in the next lecture uh, and uh, learn how one can actually use these instructions in a example program, right? So if you have any question regarding this specific uh, enabling procedure, you can ask uh, your queries and post your queries in comment section. Okay, that's it from this lecture. Uh, thank you so much for listening.